Good morning and welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. I am in a bit of a rush this morning because I am heading over towards Glasgow today for the um, Sunday spin-in session at Katie who is um, Celie McWheelie's shop. Um, it's just a really nice social spinning event. We went a couple of... Ooh, my poster's falling off the wall. Um, <laughs> we went um, a couple of months ago. I think we went in November or October can't quite remember um but i go with laura um who is athis yarns who is local to me um i'm friends with two lauras laura who is athis yarns and local and laura who is the lonely knitter um and not local and they get called local laura and lonely laura <laughs> sorry laura because she's the lonely knitter not because she's lonely um so it, yeah, it's really hard when I talk about them without using like their nicknames that I call them because to know who which one I'm referring to. So local Laura and I are heading over to um, Katie's shop today for the spinning session. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about spinning. I am a very new spinner still, very new spinner still, but I spin on an electric eel. I have an electric eel nano. Um, I think a new one's just been released, but I don't, I don't have the new one. I'm quite happy with this one. Um, and it is just a little electric e-spinner. Um, you control it with the little knobs there and, um, it kind of just sits on the table. I have to kind of blue tack it to the table slightly because it moves otherwise. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I learnt to spin on this, so I've not really spun on anything else yet. Um, but this is... This is what I really like. At the moment, I'm spinning um, a braid, I believe, from Wish You Were Here. I have the rest of it in here. I've already spun two bobbins with this, so I'm on the third bobbin. Um, and I've got about, I'm, I'm suspecting I'll get four bobbins left because I think I've got about that much left, which won't fit on one bobbin um so i'll get about four bobbins but yes this is from wish you were here i think it's their sunflower colorway um i don't seem to have the information for it um so yeah i'm hoping well i might finish this today i'm not 100 percent sure because i got for my birthday a vintage spinning wheel from my mother-in-law um she found one one got donated to a charity shop near her and she knew that i had been giving spinning a try um so she got it for me for my birthday um and i've not tried it out properly yet because i need to like i'm not knowledgeable enough about these things and i need to kind of make sure that it's all set up properly i don't really know how to do that i don't quite know what i'm doing to get started with it basically but one of the things that katie is really good at is taking people's spinning wheels and helping them get them set up and oiled and knowing what to do with them so i'm quite tempted to take that with me today um and get it set up but i'm in that awkward level of like do i just want a day where i'm focusing on something that i know how to do and i can just sit and relax and enjoy it or do i want a day where things are going to be a bit more of a challenge and i'm going to have to try something new so i'm not sure my default response is let's stick with what i know but i also know i'm not going to learn how to spin on my spinning wheel if i don't give it a try but anyway i was trying to decide if i do take it which i probably will I need some fibre to spin up on it, to try on it. I've not got a big fibre sp fiber stash. Um, I have got five by the look of it, I think. Although there's another, there are some more somewhere else. Um, there's only one other thing. So I've got, brain's not processing today. Um, I've got a bat from Wish You Were Here, which is the same colourway as the braid. Um, so this is also the, this is where I can actually check. Yes, the sunflower colourway. So I have got that. Um, I've got a glittery braid from Katie at Celie McWheelie, which is her Kaylee colourway. It's a Firefly reference. I'm not going to take that because I want to save this for um, when I know what I'm doing. Um, I've also got a very fancy braid from Cat and Sparrow, um, which is the Zen Garden colourway. And this is 60% alpaca, 20% sea silk and 20% silk. So again, another one to kind of save until I know what I'm doing or to do on the e-spinner. Um, and then I've got two 
that I'm kind of deciding between for the, for the um, spinning wheel. So I've got these Rolex, which are from Laura at the Lonely Knitter. When she was first trying out some fiber dyeing and some carding and stuff like that, she sent me these. And then I've also got this braid, which was a very, very kind gift from a viewer in Australia. Um, and it's beautiful. Um, it's from um, Kathy Fib Kathy's Fibres, um, and it is in the ocean colourway, and it's 100% Australian merino. And this is what I'm leaning towards, actually, using on the spinning wheel, because it's a really simple fibre, it's just merino, the colours are going to be beautiful, and I think this is a good starting point. I think this is a good starting point. So this might be the decision. Right, while I've got time, shall I show you my spinning wheel quickly? Because I think what I'm probably going to end up doing today is having a little chat about spinning and stuff and show you my spinning wheel and then I'll get some like snippets of everybody else's spinning and things like that. And then when I get home this evening, I will do our fact of the day, which will probably be about spinning. Okay, so here is my spinning wheel. Um, it is a Haldane spinning wheel um which is made in the made, made in scotland the company um no longer exists well they do still exist but they now make parts for staircases and not spinning wheels <laughs> when i say it was a vintage one i think i kind of overestimated that slightly because it looks older than it is but having done a little bit of research um the haldane spinning wheel company um started making spinning wheels in the 70s so it's kind of from the 70s really um and this one is their hebridean i think um it is a single treadle terminology there are a lot of spinners out there watching this who know their terminology know what they're talking about and i'm gonna sound like such such a noob as my kids would say <laughs> um, but yeah, this is it. It is gorgeous. It's a beautiful spinning wheel. I love the dark wood. I love all these little um, kind of, it's not going to focus on it, isn't it? Yeah. I love all these little kind of um, touches with like the shaping and things like that. It has a double drive band. I don't know how unusual that is. Um, and yeah, it's just very, very pretty. Um, so I think I am going to take it today and get Katie to help me sort it out and set it up and just tell me a little bit more about it, which would be really nice. Um, so yeah, I shall take it and see what happens. Good evening. I am back from my day of spinning. 
um, I wanted to share a few bits and pieces with you. So I got quite a lot of spinning done today. I finished spinning all of the singles for uh, of the Wish You Were Here yarn. Um, so there is one of the bobbins. If you can hear background noise, then um, it's because Arthur is in the lounge doing a jigsaw puzzle at the moment before bed and he keeps chatting to himself. <laughs> Um, so I finished spinning all of the singles and then I actually started plying it as well. So I got two bobbins plied um, and I've got one more bobbin to ply, I think, maybe. We'll see. And then I can join these all together and give it all a soak. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it's fun and I have got it. I have made progress. So that is good. I had a go on my spinning wheel. I've had it checked and looked at and it's absolutely fine. It just needs plenty of oil. It's running fine. Um, I am rubbish on it. <laughs> um, it is definitely, definitely a completely different kind of set of skills to using my e-spinner. Um, so it's going to take a lot of practice. Um, so I think yeah in the new year i'm gonna kind of sit down and get it out and practice a fair bit more with it um because it's gonna need it um but i couldn't i couldn't be at katie's shop and not come home with some fiber because you know i finished i finished spinning a braid of fiber so i need to come home with two more that's how it works isn't it <laughs> so i picked up this one here um, which I couldn't resist. Um, so there you go, it's Katie's logo there, Seely McWheely, it's gonna focus. I couldn't resist this one because, oh, and he's coming in the room and he's gonna find out why I couldn't resist this one. Can you tell them all why I couldn't resist this braid of fibre? It has my name on it. It's called... <laughs> Arthur! <laughs> and it has cool colour combinations. Yep, that is definitely meant to be Arthur. Yep, is that oh, Arthur? And this one. And then this is the other one I got. This one is River, which is one of um, her oh. Firefly colourways. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that Stellina in it. Look at that sparkle. It's really soft. Yeah, it's lovely and soft. This one is just Merino and Stellina. This one is even softer because this one is Merino and Silk. And Arthur. And Arthur. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, Katie has colourways that are inspired by um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So I think this is named after Arthur Dent. And she also had a Marvin colourway. And a Ford colourway? Is that a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference? No, that I is, think it is. That is mine. This is yours, yeah. So maybe when I spin this up into something... I'll make something for you with it. What do you reckon? Yes, I'm going to pull the bits. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Right, you go carry on with your. You go carry on with the jigs. No, leave that. That's to keep my my e spinner safe. You go. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and buy yarn from Helen Shop. <laughs> go away. I'm something as well. Go I'm away. Something. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, kids. They say, don't they? Don't work with kids and animals. Um. Right, before I go for the day, we need to do Fact, fact of the day. day. Arthur has decided to come back for fact of the day because he Hello. can't be quiet on his own in the lounge. So today's fact of the day is about spinning wheels. Did you know there is a country flag that has a spinning wheel on it. Which one is it? Can you think of any any country flags that you think might have a spinning wheel on them? I don't know. No. The Indian flag has... Leave the bubble wrap alone. The Indian flag has a spinning wheel in the centre, which I didn't realise. Um, the circular spoked... The, sp the spoked circle in the centre of the middle stripe of the Indian flag is um, represents a spinning wheel um, and it represents the chakra spinning wheel which is one of the oldest spinning wheels and it used to be turned by hand to spin the yarn. Really? Yeah. So there we go. There is a country flag in the world that has a spinning wheel on it and that is today's fact of the day. Wow.